probably gonna get my video taken down over this, so I may need to cut this out. <laughs> oh God, our whole fucking world has gone crazy. You know, if anybody come at my little girl with that, you know, we would have a serious problem. We need some fucking men out there, you know? What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing good today. So, as you've seen by the title of the video, I want to talk about some things that happened to me. But I also want to go a little deeper into it and I want to get your opinions. I'm going to state my opinion and again YouTube this is just my opinion. I'm not spreading any false information or getting anything like that. I'm just sharing my thoughts on things. So as you can see uh, I made a video at the end of January. This was almost two years for COVID and basically what I did in this video is I took clips from the news and from talk shows like Joe Rogan, Bill Maher, and stuff, and they were talking about the issue of mask and stuff. So, I, I don't really think I talked too much in the video. It was just clips of them. And YouTube, within a couple hours of it being out, took it down. And they gave me a warning, and they also told me that I could appeal that, you know, but this wouldn't affect my account or anything right now. But if I got another one, it would be considered a strike. And yes, it would affect my account. So at the time, you know, I didn't do anything with it because I didn't see that there would, you know, be anything that I could do. Even if I appealed it, I knew that they was just going to reject my appeal or deny my appeal. But a uh, about a month ago, maybe it was, YouTube sort of changed some of their policies. So I thought, you know, what the fuck, I'll go ahead and appeal it. And, you know, within 20 minutes, they came back and I had won. They had re, you know, reinstated my video and so forth. So, you know, I guess we could say, you know, good on YouTube for changing things. But I, I'm not going to say that. So I'm not going to say good on YouTube. I'm going to say YouTube shouldn't have fucked with my account because... We, you know, I, I want to say, you know, we still live in America, you know, home of the brave, land of the free, but we're, we're not, you know, we, we really don't have a First Amendment right to say what we want anymore because obviously big tech companies regulate what we say and what they put on their platforms. And that always has a tilt to it, you know, some people can say whatever they want to say. As long as they're saying it about people on the other side. Now, that video itself, I, I wasn't, you know, hammering the Democrats or Republicans or any scientist or anybody like that. I was just letting my frustration over the fucking mask come out. It, it seems like in the last couple of years, you know, with the pandemic and everything else, our whole fucking world has gone crazy. I mean, now we got, you know, teachers teaching to elementary school, you know, kindergartners and stuff like that uh, about trans things. And, you know, if anybody come at my little girl with that, you know, we would have a serious problem. And I think that is also part of the problem as well is that there's not enough alpha males out there anymore so where where all of you gone you know i mean I, i'm an old man so i guess i'm too late for the brainwashing to take on me but we need some fucking men out there you know all y'all 20 year old 30 year olds c come on where are you grow some balls stand up for your family because this shit is definitely not right in my opinion I would be interested to hear your opinions on this, you know, so we can have a discussion. But, you, you know, that's just the craziness that I'm talking about, like, you know, competing in college swimming, you know, taking the gold medal away from the rightful gold medalist, you know, the, the female that came in second. So how could, seriously, how can you justify that one to me? Probably going to get my video taken down over this, so I may need to cut this out. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so let's let's get into one thing else here. You know, Governor 
uh, DeSantis, he, he passed a bill where they could not talk about sexual things with children. And I think it goes until third grade or something like that. Again, you know, these are, I, I'm just going off what I've heard on the news and stuff. I didn't read the bill, but for me, even that goes, you, you know, that's not far enough. This should be shit junior high at the earliest you're going to talk about this but you know besides sex ed which you know i did have going up growing up in school this type of stuff needs to stay in the family in my opinion and any teacher that thinks they have more rights than me to my child i would have a serious issue with yes. you know but we've lost common sense in the last couple of years it appears for sure so what are your thoughts on all of these things? Now I want to jump to another problem that I see. And when I first heard this one, and it's probably been a, I don't know, a year, a year ago, maybe a little longer than that. The ESG scores that banks are now using, I thought that was a far, far right conspiracy. I just couldn't, I couldn't believe that that was true. But then... I, I seen a, a news clip article which caught my eye and I started reading on it. And now I got it pulled up here. Uh, ESG is Environmental, Social, and Governance is what it stands for. So it's sort of, it goes on with your credit score, you know, and banks are now using that. And one of the targets of this is gun manufacturers. So if you're a gun manufacturer, you're going to have a harder time getting a loan from the bank. Believe it, but I have a friend, he's my best friend, and he actually owns his own gun manufacturer. He, you know, he customizes, fabricates, builds guns. And, I mean, a little business, but he's does, he does pretty good work. And so if he needed to have a loan, he's going to have a harder time getting that loan versus the hardware store or, you know, whatever, just simply because I guess what would that be? Would that be in the social part of it or would that be in the environmental part of it that he would get a down rating? That's that's just crazy. But what's even more crazy is obviously because it's the bank and you're using your debit card or whatever, you go and purchase a gun that could hurt your score. You go buy ammo, it could hurt your score. This is all insane to me, what we are coming to in this world. And I, I don't know, you know, is it going to get better? I don't think so. I mean, we got too damn many lazy ass people out there that don't want to stand up and go vote. I mean, because that's the only way you're going to change it. You know, we got too many people. I don't want to say that. I, okay, I pray that these people that are going this far, well, what would it be, this far to the left, just don't run us run us off the cliff here. And luckily, you know, I, I, for myself, again, you know, I, I'm towards the top end getting ready to head down the mountain. My son, you know, he's just starting to climb that mountain and our little girl is still on the foothills. I, I feel for them more than myself. That's why, again, you know, I'm taking a chance on putting this out there. Maybe, you know, I can spark somebody, one of y'all watching this to start reading more on it, you know, and maybe we can do something. It's worth a shot, right? Again, all I've talked about is my opinions, strictly me saying what I think. None of this is you know, please, YouTube, don't take it down. So let me know what you guys think. Talk to you later. See ya.